Hello everyone, this is Devos Chantra Rai Chaudhary. I'm the next generation leader from CKH Network. Today I have Mr. A.K. Mahandul Hawk and he has been working as a uh, senior HR head from the Wrangler in the South Asia and Africa region. So let's have an insight um, when we will have some conversations with him. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. I'm so doing well. Today you are over here in the CKH Network program to share some of your insights about this program. And uh, you have been working in the HR uh, region for quite a long time. How many years uh, of experience you're having in this field? Well, so uh, I'm having more than 18 years experience in this human resources industry. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, last seven years. Uh, yeah, a little bit more than seven years. I'm heading the region for South Asia and Africa. So yeah, enjoying my job. It's great fun. Okay, so basically you are uh, looking forward in the local and international market and you see students from the universities to apply in your company. So what are the exact skills that you look for while you're recruiting? Well, that's a really great question and very timely. Uh, what happened when we recruit uh, fresh people normally and also I have seen in my across the career. So uh, subject matter of course an important thing for example if you are an accountant uh, you accounting education is needed if you are a marketer of course marketing education is needed uh, these are there when fresh students comes they comes from uh, right after the university graduation or masters uh, so that that connections are there but the uh, difficult part what i experienced are soft skill like competencies right so this is something uh, not fully prepared students maybe uh, did not focus or in the education time they they don't uh, put time on that to prepare themselves about their soft skill so that is the uh, gap uh, i can see at this moment which is actually uh, 50 percent of the uh, reason for the success successful in the winning interviews so these two are really really important to me so subject matter expertise plus soft skill so by the soft skill if you more clarify uh, about the competence we were having a conversation before so you can talk talk about the competence that you look really look for along with that i would ask a question that uh, since you are looking uh, about on the professionals from uh, um, the local perspective and from the international perspective, what do you think Bangladesh students are lacking for specifically? I know that's soft skills, but apart from that, what you exactly will suggest the students of this era to look for uh, to get the competence in order to uh, flourish themselves globally? So, uh, great question again. Uh, Bangladeshi students are great. They are doing absolutely fine and uh, locally and internationally a uh, lot of our students are there people are there are successful and uh, in a leadership role so what what we need to do we need to fine-tune our uh, way of preparation and also about the soft skill part again what I am saying so soft skill means what I am referring to here uh, it is uh, some sort of behavior uh, some sort of skills that invisible so I'm sure you, you, you know that competencies about uh, communication, uh, decision makings, accountability, adaptabilities. So these are soft skills I'm talking about. Uh, we know all these words, right? Everybody, all the students knows about them. But I'm talking about the behaviors of each, each and every so, uh, I mean competencies. So if it is communication, I'm talking about what set of behavior you act when you communicate. If, if you are talking about adaptability, what sort of behavior you act for adapt, being adaptable. So these, these are, uh, I mean, you need to learn. You, you cannot just by listen, you cannot do that. See, technical skills are transferable. Right? I can learn your technical skill, you can teach me and I can learn it. Uh, but soft skills are not transferable. You cannot transfer your behavior to me. So until and unless 
I practice and I uh, I have that mindset to develop. So where our people are, students are, uh, students need to uh, focus to practice these soft skills in the university life. So uh, I suggest after graduation is too late. Exactly. Right. So what I suggest to do uh, in between the education, you should start searching uh, what are the competencies or soft skill you need to develop. Because I'm saying it's, these are behaviors, these are not technical things, intangible things. You cannot see them. You 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 cannot. Uh, I, nowhere in my body is written that I am a good decision maker, right? But when I take decision, you when you work with me, you will learn what kind of process I follow, right? How what what kind of behaviors I am demonstrating when I am taking decisions. So those behaviors you need to learn and these are practice. So behaviors are not overnight you can change. So when I'm saying behavior, these are practice. You need to really, really practice and you need to know and then apply. So these, these are the uh, big preparation. Uh, I don't see uh, as much as the real subject matter uh, preparations are. So there I can see some gaps. Yeah, there are some great students, great uh, candidates I experience. Uh, they are doing fantastic wherever they are. Some of them I recruited, they are fabulous. And uh, some of them I could not, but they, wherever they are now, they are flying. So absolutely soft skill is key part. Amazing. So, sir, the last question I would be um, asking to you as a university student that in your 18 years of HR, uh, of practicing as an HR expert, how much did you see the CGP of a student while recruiting rather than the other skills they have? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So, uh, see, CGPA is a is Because most required. of the students are very much, uh, right now, most of the students are very much depressed about the CGPA. They are not basically building up themselves in different aspects or in different areas because they think that their CGPA will go down. So there is a, a CGPA barrier that you guys are creating. So what is that? Basically, uh, you see, when you, when you look at any jo job advertisement, what happens? What you see? Right? Is the CGPA written four out of four? No. So maybe three or three and five. And these days, I don't see CGPAs are maintaining mentioning in there. It's, it's written that graduations are required, masters are required, right? So uh, CGPA definitely you need to focus during your uh, student life because that that is your uh, prime job responsibility at that point of time. But at the same time, you need to prepare yourself as well to apply this CGPA because if you have a great CGPA and if you cannot get a great job, whatever what, what you are dreaming now, right? What you are going to do with this CGPA, right? So eligibility, I'm talking, I, I, I look at the eligibility, right? I look at the opportunity. So uh, we, we, we advertise, we need a graduation. Mm -hmm. So any, any graduate can apply. So graduate means it's a uh, high CGPA as well as mid, moderate. Uh, so all are eligible. So now you are into an in a uh, uh, what should I say war field with your peer, uh, friends, uh, students, and all. So you need to win, right? So who is going to win? Of course, we will look at the CGPA because the CGPA uh, a high person will be well subject matter expert. But if that person is equally expert, equally prepared about the soft skill as well, that's a wonderful mix. But we will not totally ignore soft skill at all because this is a 50% of your success rate. So when we do performance evaluation in our company or any, any across the globe, uh, your goal, objective are 50%, your soft skill, and behaviors are 50 percent so in the in the professional life also when you get the job and there also your performance are being evaluating 
not only the uh, goal achievement part so if you if you if you are a marketer right so if you achieve your marketing target or uh, sales target whatever uh, 100% and you did not demonstrate your competencies properly behaviors properly you are not 100% end of the year in the performance evaluation because you focused only 50% part the balance 50% are competencies that you did not focus at all so uh, achieving goal is a what part right achieving objective business objective is what part but at the same time how you are achieving your goal are competencies so what and how together your performance will measure right you will be a full performer when your what and how part are uh, equal so you see before the uh, before you getting the job and after the getting the job is is a similar so only only your subject matter graduation cgpa may not be helpful for you to win the job so you need equally uh, you need to put equal importance on the competency as well so uh, that's the that's the key part these days thank you sir yes. so as you have uh, listened to him so i would obviously ask you uh, people the young generations to be a part of ckh program and i would obviously ask you one one more question that what do you think the ckh program would help us and how do you feel about such a platform that is basically enhancing us with our soft skills and uh, i think this will uh, what about your uh, insights about this program uh, this is a great great program actually uh, normally i i come to the public very uh, actually very rare so when i i heard about this uh, ckh and uh, when mr kamrul uh, was talking about me uh, that whether i can come over and talk in front of uh, people especially the students who are our future leader uh, in the country so uh, i found this is a fantastic fantastic opportunity for me to contribute to the uh, society give something back to the society from my 18 years and uh, students definitely you guys can take a lot from this uh, this program because uh, i mean we hardly talk about soft skill and this this uh, network is going to help you in many many ways uh, and it can be a great platform for your su- success so i'm here for voluntarily i'm i'm definitely uh, supporting here in this uh, program because uh, like me lot of experts will be here uh, more than 100 mentors uh, are gathering in this platform which is a huge work huge work and uh, this type of programs never happened before in our country so uh, surely i'm going to uh, i'm going to see lot of future leaders are coming out from this uh, uh, program if you really really can follow and act and practice 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 and practice so soft skill you cannot learn by reading soft skill you cannot uh get by certificate you can par- be part of the training session uh, for example you are you you took part of a, a training session call uh decision making and you have a certificate and if you come and show me i am a certi- I, i am a very good decision maker i took a training i will not believe it until and unless i can see those behaviors are within you so behavior is key important here and to gain uh, change your behavior for those uh, competencies a research says 66 days consecutive practice required so just think about that one training session uh, or, or, or like program one 20 minutes video by in the facebook or a expert <laughs> person uh, talk in your university for one hour are not helping you in that way until and unless you practice so that is the key part i mean definitely these are uh, a great guideline you will get lot of lot of hints lot of takeaways your eyes will open but from there to take it forward it's you 
it's not me, it's not this sick uh, age or it's not your university teachers, it's you who need to take it forward. So definitely this program is helping many ways.